Disclaimer, hacking is illegal, don't do it without permission. Hey guys, I'm Cybertronics, and today I'm gonna be teaching you how hackers stay anonymous online. So you're gonna need three things to get started. You're gonna need Kali Linux, you're gonna need Tor service, and you're gonna need proxy chains. Once you've got all three, let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure you've got the Tor service and proxy chains installed. So if you're using Kali Linux, you should already have it pre-installed. But if you're not using Kali, let's go ahead and show you how we can do that. So you're going to open up the terminal. And once you've got your terminal open, you're going to type in apt install Tor, hit enter. That's going to install the Tor service. All right. So once you've got that installed, we're going to install proxy chains. So to do that, you're going to type in apt install proxy chains. I'm sorry. apt install proxy chains. There you go that's going to go ahead and install proxy chain so once you've got those two things we can actually get started with the configuration of the proxy chain so that we can add our proxies and how it's going to be executed okay so to do that you're going to open up with a text editor i just like to use nano you can use vim or you can use sublime or whatever text editor you like just use a text editor and we're going to say slash etsy slash proxy and you're going to open that up you have to open it up as root guys by the way uh, or sudo because if you don't open it up as root or sudo then you won't be able to write to the file and that's what we want we want to write to the file so once you've got it open as root you're going to go ahead and go to one of these three options here as you can see there's one string of line of, of text that isn't commented out meaning it doesn't have a hashtag next to it so if something has a hashtag next to it it means the computer is not going to read it and execute it so as you can see here the one that's not hashtag is dynamic chain that's the option i'm choosing there's three there's dynamic strict and random you can go ahead and read through what each one does but i'm using dynamic so once you've chosen which one you're going to use you're going to go ahead and go down and you want to make sure right here where it says proxy underscore dns that there's no hashtag next to the proxy underscore dns option why do you want to make sure of that because if you don't if you leave a hashtag next to it the the script won't run the proxy dns which basically hides your dns server and you could your your internet service provider could be exposed if your dns isn't proxy okay so it could lead back to you you could be compromised so make sure that proxy underscore dns is not commented out and once you've got those those two things done you're gonna go all the way down and this is where we're actually gonna put our proxy servers guys so i've got two right now it's the tour service basically is what i'm using so what that means is that my traffic is going to be tunneled through a node in the tour network and you know this is about as anonymous as you could get guys there, there are risks with it risks with it and uh you know you're never 100 percent anonymous online but it's as anonymous as you could get in my opinion and uh yeah guys if you want to add any other proxies you can you can add as many as you want and yeah but i'm not going to be doing that today i'm just going to be using the tor service proxies just to show this example so once you've added your proxies whichever ones you're going to use you're just going to go ahead and save the file for now you're going to control x and it's going to save the file and once you've got that done we're going to turn on the tor service so now to turn on the tor service we're going to type in service tor start and that's going to go ahead and start up the tor service in the background and to check that it is actually running guys you're going to type in service tor status and it's gonna show you right here, as you can see, we have it active. So now that we've got the Tor status active, we can go ahead and start using proxy chains to start browsing the internet or do whatever we're gonna do, okay? So proxy chains doesn't like using a root terminal or sudo. So we're just gonna open up a regular terminal and we're gonna go ahead and type in proxy chains. Proxy chains. Firefox, you're gonna specify the browser of choice. I'm using Firefox. And you're gonna type in the website you wanna to go to, google.com. And it may take a few seconds here, guys, because we are using Tor and we might have to sacrifice some speed for anonymity. So keep that in mind. But it's gonna go ahead and open this up here. And once you've got it open, we're gonna check our IP address on the internet to make sure that this thing is actually working, okay? So once you're on Google, we're gonna go ahead and type in what is my IP. And we're gonna hit enter. And as you can see here, guys, it pulls up our IP and it says our IP is 185.220.102.244. Spoiler alert, that's not my actual IP address. So let's go to this website right here called What Is My IP Address to see the actual geolocation of that IP address to make sure that it's not giving away my, you know, approximate location. And uh, you're gonna go ahead and click on that. And once it loads up, we're gonna see where we're at. And as you can see here, guys, it says that we are in Portland, Oregon and the Tor exit node. Spoiler alert, I'm not in Portland, Oregon. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and check if our DNS server leaked. 
So to do that, we're just gonna go to dnsleaktest.com and uh, bear with me for a second here, guys. This might take a minute. All right, and it's loaded. So once you're in this website, you're gonna click on standard test and it's gonna test to see what your DNS address is. This might take a minute, so I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. And as you can see here, we got our test results. And yeah, this uh, this thing has obfuscated our you know our location and our IP address and our DNS server. So as you can see here, our internet service provider is TerraHost. That is not my internet service provider. And this is the IP address. And here's the host name: Tor Exit One TerraHost. So there you go, guys. This is basically how hackers or anybody could be anonymous online. So I hope you learned something. I hope you liked the video. And without further ado, let's get up out of here.